Uh, welcome back for another Minecraft video. Uh, today we're going to be going over what I did in between streams as well as um, kind of talk about the future uh, designs and stuff like that that I have for the Ocean Monument base here. Um, this right here is the spot that I've, I figured actually works the best for AFKing. I AFKed in the spot that I normally did and I, I hardly had any... Um, I think it was like only up to the, this hopper from from both sides. So um, I was AFKing only like maybe two hours now right here. And um, I got this whole thing loaded up and it's starting to go all the way back to like here now. Um, yeah, so this one on both sides. And so and I, I think that if I'm AFKing overnight right here, I should have this whole thing completely packed up. But the problem is that I keep unloading. I got tons of shards, tons of crystals over here. And uh, <laughs> I, I need somewhere for this stuff to get sent to and uh, sorted through. So uh, what we got to do is get our area under here figured out uh, for the, the sorter. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is drain all of this out and then kind of uh, dig down quite a ways to make this uh, pretty much the main um, inventory and uh, sorting room of the base. Um, I'm going to be building uh, basically a covering for this area right here. And then right here, I think what we're going to do is actually have the water elevator that will you know, be able to bring us up and down uh, into this area from here. Um, so yeah. Oh, hey, Wens. Thanks for joining up too. I really appreciate you guys. So I did start working on this. Uh, this is going to be the outside of the base. Uh, what I'm doing is just kind of uh, molding what I already have into the Ocean Monument. So it doesn't look like we're completely getting rid of the Ocean Monument. But more or less, it looks like we're just kind of building onto it. Kind of like a, a build site onto a, an existing uh, structure. Um, so I think that that'll end up looking really cool. Plus, it'll just kind of close off those gaps so we can start drying out the inner inner part. But our biggest hurdle is these guys constantly coming after us. Like, watch our back here. I've already gotten like five tridents in a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and keep working on this. <laughs> Before I get started on all this, um, I guess I should probably actually show you what I got accomplished. Um, the last time we were here, we only got the other side done. Um, and I think we only got three of the kill chambers done. Um, but, and of course I missed a spot right there. So unfortunately I have to come back and fix that. I do have the materials for it though. Uh, but all the way around this entire base is these pillars of kill chambers that are constantly collecting pretty much anywhere that I mean I'm, I'm definitely gotten I've definitely I'm definitely getting spawns no matter where I am in my base but there's just the ultimate like basically like the sweet spot where I'm gonna get the majority of these um, spawning in guardians um, but I did get all these uh, built in all the way down to this same area so that way when we actually do start building the outside areas it's all gonna really flow uh, into each other so that'd be really cool once we get all this uh, completely done and then also something I did off camera in between streams was um, I got all my villagers squared away in here so I have all the villagers that I need all the um, I have some really decent trades like unbreaking I mean some of these are really expensive but they're kind of worth it in some cases some of them are pretty cheap and worth it. Um, and then I have the one guy right here for my books. So I can constantly buy books. Um, most of our money this season, I think, is going to be made by our fishermen. Um, because they they take cod, fi like 15 cod for one emerald. And we're just constantly uh, killing cod either between the fish, uh, the fish traps here or the actual... Um, guardians that are going to drop that and then the bottom area uh where our sorting room and stuff like that this is going to be the design that we're going to be using uh for the floor under there and that's kind of what i went over on my first live stream 
uh, before it kind of crapped out. So anyway, hopefully it all kind of, you know, ends up looking really good. Um, in my mind, it looks really good. So hopefully, uh, reality will be just as, as good as my, uh, as my vision of what this is going to turn into. So what I am building is just the next stage of the base. Um, so this is the ocean monument with uh, the guardian farm basically built into it. Right here, these are going to be the pillars that are going to be holding up the base. Um, and then there's going to be like a floor that basically goes across this whole thing. Um, and then after that there's going to be a big structure up above here because we're going to be um, building a mob farm that's going to be right above here and then it's going to be basically all the mobs are going to be sent into the same kill chamber as the iron golems which i think will work out because like if there's any zombies and stuff like that that fall in there the iron golems don't fight really against i think they fight against skeletons and they fight against um zombies so them fighting against each other in there is going to actually increase the chance of um basically just them killing each other faster so that would be cool and i do have some <laughs> guardians going into my fishing thing just because those one spawn site on each side but that's whatever not that big a deal but i mean this is the next stage um we we're talking about that a little bit earlier um we're trying to block off all the interior spots um, so that way we can actually drain the inside of it um, underneath and then that way we could put our sorting system underneath because we don't really have enough room to put the sorter inside the ocean monument so it's gonna have to come down here so we have to drain this whole thing um, and then dig it down quite a ways um, but we do have some pretty good plans with it um, I think it's gonna turn out really good I mean, it's going to be one of those things that's just going to evolve over time here. Um, I do have a plan, but it doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to end up the way that I have it planned. Because <laughs> most of the time it doesn't really go exactly the way that I, I want it to. Not, not that that's a bad thing, but usually like as I'm building it, you know, my vision kind of doesn't match what ends up being the final product. 
So we'll, we'll see how it all evolves. Thanks for asking, though. I really appreciate it. And then we did talk about uh, a little bit earlier um, how much, um, like, basically where to AFK and um, how to get the maximum amount of drops from these guys. Um, where I, it, you basically have to find that sweet spot, just kind of experiment. Um, but it should be about 24 blocks away, but it's like you kind of want to be not on the the dot like of 24 blocks away kind of want to be like a little bit further and what i realized is if you're like right on one of them it's not the greatest it's actually better to be kind of in between what i mean by that is like find a middle spot right here and then go 24 blocks in like that um because i was start like i was doing like kind of the center spot and it seemed like it wasn't really getting i don't know why i keep getting hit by those underneath them uh but it wasn't really catching this too much or it wasn't meeting the the corners and so if you kind of go in between and go about 24 blocks away it kind of gets that curvature which gets a lot more of the the mob spawning into these areas which i don't think i was far enough away but Kind of get an idea of how that works because it's all, you know, a, a circle. More like a a ball type measuring system. Yeah, so for now, we're just going to close this off. Well, I mean, even... Um, 
even the diorite, andesite, and granite, you can make those blocks from other blocks. Not that... I mean, the recipes are kind of ridiculous in some sense. And they use each other to, like, basically make each other, but you could still do it. Okay, I think for here... I'm just gonna close off... Okay, so now that that's done, I'm actually going to need to go so what I'll do is I'll just find myself a little way to get up here and I need sand and I have a whole bunch of sand see how much I can get done here next 20 minutes but I kind of want to take a look at the outside of this real quick can I get a view from I mean there might be a few little areas that I might want to expand it or whatever but I think it's looking pretty good A little bit closer so we can, there we go, see again. I think it's looking pretty good. I mean, I might want to, that was my first one, so I might want to work on that corner a little bit. But I think I'm happy with it. I might want to make that a little bit thicker. Yeah, I think I like it. I hope, I hope you guys like it too. Yes, I can. Okay. So, I'm going to do sections. Just kind of start off into a corner and work, work my way a certain direction, you know? If I break this in half, I think it'll be easier. Don't really want to put it too much on like the ground. Just try to do that a little bit. Okay. But that will do it for my stream for today. Thank you very much for joining uh, the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I got a lot done today uh, in progress for the future. Um, again, today was just kind of a build and and hang out with you guys kind of thing. I'd rather hang out with you guys than just do it by myself. So I'm glad that you guys showed up and made this a little bit more entertaining for, for me, at least. I hope it was entertaining for you. Um... When I when I'm done with the stream, I'm just gonna be draining out all of this uh, and getting it ready for tomorrow, or getting it ready for technically Monday is my goal to have my next stream so I can actually uh, get the bottom area done. I have a lot to gather up though. Um, I'm gonna need a lot of oh goodness comparators. I'm gonna need a lot of hoppers. I'm gonna need a lot of repeaters. So there's going to be a lot of materials that I'm going to have to gather up and stuff. It might not be a full-blown sorter. I might do it in sections um, just because it's so it's such a big task. Um, so I might do it in sections, but more or less, I just want to get the room built and then kind of a platform for the, um, for the sorter to go on to. 
Because the sorter is going to be like, it, it takes up, I think, five spaces. You have your your main hopper system that it goes into, and then you have the hopper it goes into, then the hopper that it gets transferred to, and then the redstone torch underneath here. Yeah, so it's like, it, I think it's five spaces. So this will be the basically the roof of the the sorting room is going to be the the roof is right here and then this whole section right here is going to be for the sorting system um so it's going to be kind of crazy a little bit but i'll have to try to map it out and make sure that i can make it as productive as possible having certain items going all into one chest i don't like having just one item per chest um so i i try to make it a little bit more um user friendly because you know you want multiple items to go into one chest so I kind of separate it out like that all my wood items go into the same chest not one chest per wood item stuff like that so we'll, we'll see there's a lot of things that <laughs> I'm probably not going to have in my sorter this season but uh, we'll see I, I didn't even get a chance to have a sorter in my last season so but anyway I will uh, continue working on this and I will uh, again, thank you very much for all your guys' support. Uh, before you leave, if you want to hit that like button to help uh, support my channel and to help uh, for the, these videos to reach other people uh, that like videos just like you do, you know, get in, the, get in front of other viewers like yourselves, um, that would be greatly appreciated. If you're not already subscribed um, and you want to follow along on the journey of the Helix Craft server, consider uh, subscribing as well as uh, following the rest of the people in the server. Uh, and seeing what they're all up to. But thank you very much, and I will see you guys all in the next video.